fara till släppa vid mig. Is that everything? This feast has to be great. Yes, it is our last chance. Wolf kissed. Welcome to Ravensthorpe. I am Eivor, though you seem to know me already. You are well known to us. I am Toka Sinrixdottir, and the Frankish boar with me is my advisor, Pierre. We are here on behalf of Siegfried of Frankia, renowned warrior and leader of the Northmen there. You look to be at home here already. How could we not be? What you have done in this place is amazing. The guesthouse is a fitting addition. We have also brought new tastes for your long table from Frankia. If it is drink you prefer, we have mulled wine. Very generous. Some might say overly generous. Consider it a token of goodwill from the hand of my uncle Siegfried. You know, clan to clan. There'll be blood if any here heard I refused a feast. So, consider it accepted. <laughs> yes, you honor us. Ravensthorpe reminds me of how Frankia used to be. Given the chance, I would visit often. You would be welcome. Yet you do not share your gifts for nothing. I await the boon you surely will ask of me. Tales of your judgment prove true. You can teach me some of that wisdom over ale this day. Shall we begin? Let us see if these Frankish treats hold up to scrutiny. Let us eat! One can prefer ale to wine. Mon dieu, it astounds me still. You Norse may have us Franks on the battlefield, but when it comes to drink, we stand unbeaten. It will always be ale for my cup. It is not only the channel that separates us, there is an entire sea of bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you something. In our travels throughout England, I have taken swords in raids and battles. This I took in a home gang against two oafish brothers in East Anglia. This by the wound twig, but is still my favorite. So, you have traveled to all corners of this land before arriving at Ravensthorpe. To what end? I mean to entice you and others like you to join in the glorious raids along the River Seine. Who have you talked with thus far? Many. Jarl Heminger, Guthrum, even Hofton. Paris itself is set to be sieged. And after that, we will have amassed more riches than anyone in England has dared imagine. Let me guess how many Jarls will join you on your Frankish raids and sieges. None. They just fail to see the scale of the bounty we stand to plunder. What do you really want, Toka? Every word I have said is true. But there is something else. A new power is rising in Frankia. What kind of power? The Frankish kingdoms have been united under one king. Charles the Fat. And with this combined strength, Charles has begun a slow march against the Norse villages there. He killed my father and wiped out my village. I am sorry for your father and your village. But we have our own troubles here in this land. With Charles the Fat in power, those troubles will worsen. After his campaign in Francia, he will come for England. Charles will come for you and your clan. His armies multiply by the day. Real soldiers and cavalry, not like the Saxon farmhands and gillers in these parts. If the Raven clan were to help you, what is it you would ask of us? Our chieftain Siegfried 
prepares to siege Paris and make the Franks rethink their actions against we Norse. And our longships will grow heavy with treasure in the doing. My scouts attest to the claims of Toka and her people. But before now, I saw no reason to involve our clan. Do you see reason now? If the mad King Charles does have ambitions for England, we should act. The Siegfried she mentioned. He rallies the Norse there. Joining him could be our chance to push back against this new king. Or I could meet this Charles myself. And if you will not deal with me, I kill him. This problem is bigger than one king. If we kill one, another will rise. Were he murdered by a Norse from England, it could bring the Franks to our shores even sooner. Then I'll be mindful of who I kill and who I ally with in Francia. Could be a stable king is the way to keep Ravensthorpe safe. Let me see the sword. I wish to examine the ironwork. No, I stole this, and it is mine. Fine. If you will not show it to me, I will have to take it. Ready yourself, Pierre. I challenge you to a home gang. Enough. Toka, you came here looking for help with this new Frankish threat. The Raven Clan will answer your call. You will? You will! I promise you will not regret this. Find here when you have prepared, and we will make for Francia at once. Thank you. Toka said to find Pierre when I'm ready to travel to Francia. I hope you're... Pierre! Ready to leave for Francia when you are. I am ready. Francia, the land of Charlemagne, and the bitter price of Ragnar, who sacked Paris for a fortune in silver and sorrow. Now a new king rises, uniting Franks against Norse in open battle, and casting angry eyes toward England. I must stop this mad king from sending war across the sea. Already his armies assemble, and crows gather again over Paris. To Francia. What? No sniveling emissary from King Charles to greet us. Believe me, Wolfkist, you will feel the warmth of his welcome soon enough. The mad king did this. We all had a part in it. to Ravensthorpe. It is. We are almost there, but we cannot take the longship around Paris as the Frank's bridges block the way. Our village is inland. We will take the horses from here. The others will follow on foot. Is there danger of an ambush? Not this close to the water, and not at night. Siegfried has done his work too well. I will finish unloading the ship. 
You two go ahead. Many thanks, Pierre. And Eivor. There is something we should talk about when I arrive at Melun. Until then, ride safe. Mount up. The ride is not long. How will I face Siegfried? He entrusted me to gather axes. He wants me to lead one day. But I failed even this. The failure was not all yours, Toka. Jarls are ever busy with their own concerns. Ah, just give me strong ale and a good fight. What else matters? Frankish scouts. They have been watching us closely of late. What do you think it means, Eivor? That Siegfried has not finished his work yet. Siegfried will not be finished until there are no more Franks left to fight. Scouts have been gnawing at our heels ever since Charles forced us from the north. He pushes hard against your people. You might have to lead sooner than you expect, Toga. I may not be the best one to do it. I see the longhouse! We are almost there! to be back after so long. I thought to return with an army. Welcome to Milan. We should find Siegfried. You have returned. All went well, I hope. Are the others you brought coming behind you? I need to find Siegfried. Of course. Well, uh, you will find him where he always is. Ah, yes. He will be at the burial grounds, staring into the mist. Mm -hmm. It is where he begins most days. This way. Our burial grounds. Sinric, my father, lies there with the others. We should go. Place. It is a beautiful land. Or would be if it was not filled with Franks. There is Siegfried. You go ahead. He may not be happy to see me return with so few allies. I will not rest. Siegfried. You came, Wolfskist. Good. You knew it was me. Pierre sent word ahead. Your axe will be a boon to us. I heard your axe has been busy as well. Yes, I've slain many on the open field with honor, as Odin intended. It is our way. But it is not their way. 
The Franks dragged our Jarl Sinric from his bed and gutted him like a coward. They did not even bury him, just left his body for the animals to take. I raised this mound for him. You want me to join your side against these Franks? There is no side. There is only blood debt and vengeance and Helheim for those I split with my axe. How dangerous are these Franks? What do they want? Do you not understand? They want us as Sinric, dead and dishonored. But I will teach them what honor means. Now we will feast, and I will tell you of my plans for Paris. This is Vidar, a more noble beast I have never known. The god of vengeance. It is a good name. Many Franks have met their end beneath his iron hoofs. He hates them almost as much as I do. You placed a carving at Sinric's grave. Sinric won it from me in the home gang when we were children. It is Eikthirni who watches over Odin's hall in Valhalla. He was holding it when I found him. It was the only way I knew him after the animals had gotten to his body. Ours will be the greatest raid since Ragnar sacked Paris and brought longships full of silver back to King Horik. We will fill our war chest with silver and our muds with mead. Blood and glory! Skull! Oh. This is not just about silver, talker. He hates being disturbed while he eats. You know, Ragnar returned with more than just silver. More than silver? What was it? Swords, precious jewels, wine! Stories of a dead saint defending Paris. Horik was so odd, he freed the Christians and executed his raiders. Really? That does not sound glorious. Behold, I will deliver thine enemy into thine hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good to thee. Kill the heathens! Bring me Siegfried's head, and that one as well. Leave the stripling alive to tell of it. The what? Bishop Engel. This is a good night. Oh, shit. This place is heavily guarded. Give them advantage, but it'll not be enough. Where did Angoin go? Siegfried, wait! What did he say to you? Toka, see to the wounded, and find the watch! They should have warned us of the attack! I told you he doesn't like to be interrupted while eating. 
We needed that soldier alive to question. Wild heart, level head. Oh, I like that. Where is Siegfried going? My guess is to find that bishop, Engelwin. He hates him above all others. It was he who killed Sinric. Yes, his sword brother and your father. I am sorry, Toka. Nothing has changed. If anything, the attacks grow more frequent, as you see. Ranvi was right. I have to stop this before it reaches Ravensvorp. Unless you can convince their king to surrender, you may have to kill every soldier in Francia. This battle will not be won with Axis. I must find a way to meet Charles, and convince him not to attack England. Remember, Charles murdered Gottfried. He will not honor his word. Better to kill him. The problem is bigger than one king, Toka. I must talk to him. It is what my clan expects. You may be right. But I am not the one you will have to convince in the end. If you kill Engelwin, Siegfried might be persuaded to help you find Charles. You begin to think like a Jarl, Toka. Twice our scouts followed Engelwin to the slums south of Paris. When you are ready, that is where Siegfried will be. I'll meet Siegfried there, and return when Engelwin is dead. Then we will find Charles. Evor, over here. Pierre, what is this about? We have a shared interest. You in resisting Francia's north loathing loyalists, me in getting paid. Those do not seem connected. I am working with a rogue band of men and women across Francia who tire of the chaos Charles's rule brought. Their numbers are small. Few are foolish enough to resist well-equipped loyalist forces. You do not believe in their cause? I do not, but they do. This is where you come in. Help them, and you will have ample reward for your effort. It is strange that you support them while believing their cause ill-fated. What kind of monster would I be if I were to dash the hope they hold in their hearts? Anyway, there is profit to be made, and only a fool ignores that. What do you want to do? Show me what is available. So it begins. Good luck, Evor. Be my eyes. Wolfkist! Here! How did you find me? Where is Toka? Toka guessed you would be here. She's still at Melleux, looking for your missing watch. Uh, I lost Engelwin, but this soldier told me he is heading for the church nearby. Come, we can go through the slums. Ah, even from here I can smell the piss of the slums. Siegfried, I mean to stop this fight from coming to England. I must meet with Charles. For what? You cannot bargain with these thralls. Have you forgotten my fallen brother, Sinric? No, and that is why I must try. It is why I came to Frankia. If I kill Engelwin, I want you to help me get an audience with the king. There is no reasoning with you, Wolfkist. You are as wild as your namesake. In our veins runs the blood of holy kings and conquerors. The northerners may have numbers, but we have God. <sighs> that is all, though. 
Count of Paris and right-hand man to the king. Drumming up support for his army, no doubt. Our courage and honor will not fail us, no matter how hot the fight. We will overcome this evil, as we always have. Self-important as always. The one next to him is Gosselin, Bishop of Paris and a fearsome warrior. For a Frank. Those two are for another day. You have to get to Angleton, and to do that, you have to find your way into the church. The answer is down there in that stink. That is not much to go on. If it was easy, I would have killed him myself already. You have an advantage. You are unknown to these... people. The Raider Siegfried is almost at our gates! And what does he want? What the Northerners always want! Blood and silver! Yours and mine! Me, they know quite well already. Someone down there knows something. All you have to do is get them to tell you. I have your word. Once this is done, we find Charles. As you say, but work fast. I cannot leave Melon unguarded long. And this Frankish stench already turns my stomach. Three guards, insulting. I will deal with them. While you find Engelwyn, he is hiding in his church. Will you sneak in? Convince one of his own to aid you? Or cover the streets with blood? As you would. They deserve no less. But you are the wolf kissed. You do not need my advice. So what will you do? I will find my own way. is the protector of Paris, the king's man, and he has told you the truth. You cannot trust the lost men to do anything but Let him speak. Bread or coin? Bread or coin? That's such a naively hopeful world. What can I get you? You have a good crowd. If you mean tables of soldiers drowning themselves in wine at my expense, then yes, it's good enough. It might be better if not for that old drunk over there, crying about the bishop to everyone who listen. <sighs> I'd send him away, but to be honest, I need his business. I need to find the bishop. <laughs> the bishop? I can tell you, he's not in this mud pit, my friend. He wouldn't risk soiling his holy sandals. There is a priest who does the bishop's numbers in here at times. Last I saw, he was talking to a table of soldiers. Thanks for the help. You look the kind that enjoys a good complaint. You'll be back. Wine loosens lips as well as ale. Someone at the tavern might know something. That'll get me into the church. Someone needs to report back to the bishop. Tell him the nosy scrub is taken care of. Well, not me. What does the bishop and his old... You mentioned the bishop. Oh, he took her, my daughter. Uh, she's gone. She's a good girl. Never any trouble. She wouldn't steal anything. Who took your daughter? Was it the bishop? The bishop's soldiers in the slums. 
Says she stole the Bishop Silver. That she is the devil who needs deliverance. Where is her? What did you say? I will find your daughter here in the slums. And she will help me find Anglewyn. I could look for the drunk's daughter at the slums. Or see if there's more to learn here. For a servant of God. That is two good leads. I should be cautious around here. That was close. You're welcome. Your father told me the bishop took you. My father? Yeah, the bishop's soldiers. I didn't steal nothing neither. Then they wanted to give me deliverance. You stole from the bishop. That was bold. I just said I didn't, didn't I? Well, I didn't take no silver. It was just a little church key. I want that key. So did the soldiers. But you are too late. I sold it to bandits in the sewers. They got it cheap, too. <laughs> My reward for helping you is to fight bandits. You are welcome. Good luck. The sewers stink. I have to get to my father before he is thrown out of the tavern again. <laughs> this must be the sewers. Fresh tracks. Bandits must be close. We got... These goods have been packed for travel. The bandits are smuggling. What luck? Everyone knows the bishop has rooms packed with silver and valuables. Let's open you up. Oh, yeah. 
We're close down here. Try your luck back upstairs. Go hooded here. Deliverance again. They are always talking, usually about offerings. You would think God himself was poor if you listened to them. Shh! Don't say such things. You'll be taken for a heretic and sent for deliverance yourself. No. Are you here for deliverance? Y yes. I, I don't know. I want to be close to God, but those screams don't seem right. Does it seem right to you? Your deliverance ritual. Is it with Engelwyn? Uh, yes. He does it alone. I I'm next in line and... I, I don't think I want this. I could take your place and see Engelwyn for you. Then you could leave. Tell me what I must do. You need a robe. They won't let you in without their special robe. Then, you go down the corridor and talk to the priest. Give me a robe. My robe? Well, they gave me one, but um, I didn't put it on. I, I left it somewhere around here. I'll find it and take your place. You should leave now before they call for you. Yes. Y yes, you're right. Uh, as soon as my nerves settle, I'll go. It can't be right. Uh, Bishop Engelwin didn't the It is well made. What do they do in the face? Whatever deliverance is, it sounds grim. I need to find Bishop Engelwyn. Do you know where he is? If you are here for deliverance, you have a long wait. My brother has been upstairs waiting for hours now. I see you are ready for the ritual. Take this key. Prepare your heart and when you are ready, enter through this door. The bishop is waiting for you. Welcome, traveler. Your eyes are covered, yet you see me. Justice and innocence are both blind, yet see more clearly, void. Find them, light the way, and see the treasures of God. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. The way through darkness to your deliverance is clear when it is lit by God. It is a riddle. A way to deliverance. That must mean Anglewin. That is what that is too. Justice and innocence light the way. Without them, we are blind. Naked you came from your mother's womb, and naked you will return. Enter here now, naked. Another 
your soul for the day of judgment. Oh, thy judgments are just. <laughs> this disguise may not be convincing up close. I should keep my distance from the guards. of the attack on Milan. It was to be sent this night to a brothel in the tavern. The king must be there now. Bishop Engelwin sent me, with word for the king. Did he now? And did he happen to send you with the watchword? I have an urgent message for the king. If he does not receive it, I'll be sure to tell the bishop why and who. You are one of his northern spies, I suppose. I heard there was trouble. All right, stand back.
Are you real? Oh, what are you? Another Diablo? Not an enemy, not yet. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan in England. <sighs> Flesh and blood. A northerner by the look of you. Why do you disturb me? Where are my guards? Your guards are not coming. Your bishop will not be joining us either. <laughs> Engelwin, I, you've done me a favor, Northerner, though you don't know it. That bishop was an unholy annoyance. What is it you want? Your soldiers strike at Norse villages. Their attacks grow more common by the day. You make war against us, without cause. <sighs> without cause? <laughs> this is my land. A kingdom established by God. You are invaders and devils, a scourge I am called to cleanse. My cause is God himself. You claim your cause in the name of your god. We claim it by our own strength. Either way, those claims end in this land. I begin to understand you, Diablo. You don't care for Francia. You want clemency for England and for yourself. I want you to stay in your own land. You murder your way into another land. And you think to stop me driving you back out with negotiation? I am a king. You are a godless invader. Who are you to parley with me? I am one who might have killed you already, yet you live. Hmm. Perhaps this is opportune. What do you think? Could it work? Oh, it might work. There is something I require. If you accomplish it, I will be more open to consider your proposal. A deal within a deal. How like a king. <laughs> what is this task? My queen, Richardis, has been taken. I want her return to me. I assume I must first find her. My spies tell me she was taken by those belonging to a zealous faction within the church. I know nothing more. You do not seem overly troubled by her absence. Marriage for kings is more often a matter of politics than of the heart. In any case, I doubt she is in danger. And you can be certain. I want her safe return. If I do this, you'll agree to leave England in peace. Peace? <laughs> that is a strange word in the mouth of an invader. But again, you presume too much. Do this, and you will have earned a place at the negotiation table. Nothing more. When we next meet, you'll be with your queen to discuss your ambitions for England. As you say, Diablo. God will make it so. Now, you must excuse me.